previously on that one Unity day. So I create a new C-sharp script no, called player stats God! and put it on the player. In this no, script, God, I set up a bunch please, of magic no, to We will no, create a way to display the no! HP, mana, and from here... No! What's up developers, I'm that one Unity dev, and today we'll be finishing the two-part series on how to create a 2D RPG leveling system. By the end of this video, you should have something like what we have on screen. As the intro suggests, I know that the first part was a little code heavy, so this time around, I'll explain the important parts and gloss over the rest. What we'll be covering in this video is sprites, killing monsters, gaining levels, level up UI, increasing stats, special abilities, and some code to tie it all together. Jumping into my drawing application, I went straight to work and made a chicken enemy, some UI sprites, a slash effect, and an enemy death effect. I then went ahead and made some simple background props. After my sprites were made, I went into Unity and imported my enemy. Then, I added in a combat system. For the combat system, I added in a crosshair which not only shows where the cursor is, but it also acts as the player's look direction. Then, I made the sword align its edge to the cursor, and when swung, it spawns a slash effect, and rotates 180 degrees until swung again. And that's really all there is to it. Rather than do an animation, I thought it'd be a little bit more interesting visually to do it this way. But don't worry, if you've been following along and want to do an animation instead, feel free. In order to gain XP, we want to have our chicken enemy drop the XP orbs. So I created a new script for enemies that have some basic stats like health and XP given. I also gave my slash effect a 2D box collider that is a trigger with a hitbox tag. This way, we can do a simple trigger check on the enemy to see if they should be hit, and when they are, we subtract the damage. And of course, when they're at zero health, they destroy themselves and drop the XP orbs. I also went a step further and added some knockback when the enemies get hit. Then, I implemented all the animations that I made earlier. Now that our enemies drop XP, we can do a simple check on our player's stats to see if our current XP reaches our max XP. And if it does, we can increase our level by 1, give out some stat points, and display our level up icon which will bring up our stats menu when click. Which brings us to the stats menu. All we need is a bunch of UI images parented to an empty game object. Feel free to lay it out how you want, but this is the layout I came up with. To make our stats increase, we'll be using something called an event trigger on the plus icon. Event triggers are really powerful tools that allow us to activate functions based on parameters. For our purposes, we're going to use the on pointer down, which basically just means on click. From here, we'll need a few public functions that we can activate in our event trigger. In a new script, I made one for increasing our stats values when we hit the plus, one for displaying our stats, one for opening the menu, and one for closing it. For increasing our stats, I make a function taking an integer value called stat ID, which we can use to identify what stat should be increased. Then, I just make a bunch of if statements for values 1 to 5, which increase the specific stat, and subtract 1 from our remaining points. At the bottom, I also call the display stats function, which just updates all the UI on the stat screen so it shows what we changed. With that all done, I duplicate the button for each stat and change the ID on the event trigger to match the appropriate stat. Now you can see that if I hit the plus icon when I have stat points, I can increase each individual stat. Now that we can increase our stats, I went ahead and implement the stats to actually do something. This all comes down to what you want them to affect in your game, but for mine, I made the strength add a little to damage, the intelligence increase your MP, and so on. If you're like me and love those sweet special abilities when you level up, you can easily add them with just a few lines of code. For my player, I went ahead and added the ability to shoot lasers out of his eyes. To make sure you can only do it once you're a certain level, you have to have it disabled initially, and then in the stat script, just do a simple level check to activate it. Finally, I implemented every aspect of my How to Make an Atmospheric 2D Game series. I also went ahead and gave the enemy some basic AI and an attack. Although this system isn't exactly Skyrim material, it is a very good starting point for beginners and hopefully encourages you to try and implement something similar in your project. I hope you enjoyed today's video and maybe even learned a thing or two. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment if this helped you with your game. 